Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about some new settings app features that are coming in Windows 11. The features that I'm going to show you in this video are features that Microsoft is working on in the background, behind the scenes, and with the help of some Twitter users, AlbaCore, Panther, and more, we were able to see some screenshots of the new features that Microsoft is currently working on. Of course, these features cannot yet be enabled safely on Windows 11, but they are very soon coming into Windows 11, most likely in the Canary or Dev channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you what those features are and I think they are quite interesting and useful features. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysOff.com. If you're looking for a place to get Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office licenses at a very good price, you can check the KeysOff sale. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 by using the coupon code TB50 and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11. By using the coupon code TB50, you can also get Windows 11 for just $13. Office licenses have an even better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the great prices from keysoff.com and the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. So as you all know, Microsoft has recently added a new channel to the Windows Insider program which is the new Canary channel and here we could see new features being tested but as I've said in previous videos, on the dev channel, you can still see features ahead of the Canary channel. With these new releases, Microsoft is working on improving the settings app even more. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features that Microsoft is planning to add in the settings app. First of all, we have USB 4 hubs and devices. Basically, Microsoft will start to include a new settings page, which will have support for USB hubs and devices. This is a pretty new technology. Of course, I'm sure that most of you have USB 2.0 or 3.0 on your laptop or computer. Well, Microsoft is also planning in advance to include a way to view and manage USB 4.0 devices and I think that is pretty nice. Also, we will have a new cloud PC with task view integration. Basically, Microsoft's cloud PC is a feature that allows businesses usually to create virtual machines in the cloud for the employees and now Microsoft is working on implementing this cloud PC experience with task view and the setting will be found in settings of course system and then cloud PC. We will also have dev drive settings which will allow users to create and manage VHDs and dev drives. As I've said at the beginning, a huge shout out to Albacore and also Panther. You're going to have their Twitter links and their pinned comment below and you can follow them if you want to learn more about new hidden features or new features that Microsoft is working on behind the scenes. We will also have some depth effects for backgrounds. In the personalization and background part of settings, Microsoft will add a new option which is called depth effects and when available, they will use AI to add depth effects to the background images. I think this is quite interesting. We still don't know how this will work or how this would look, but I think this is a pretty interesting feature. And the last new feature that we're going to talk about in this video is the new reinstall option. Of course, I've talked about this. I've showed you how to enable this in a previous video and that didn't work at the time because Microsoft was still working on it. And at the time I'm recording this video, that still doesn't work. But of course, Albacore has provided some screenshots of how that would look. Basically, this new reinstall option will allow you to reinstall the computer without losing files and with the option to repair the corrupted or damaged operating system. And here, as you can see in the screenshot, it says we'll repair components and system files. If a repair solution is available, we'll attempt to fix system component corruption by reinstalling the current version of Windows. Your apps, documents, and settings will be preserved. Please make sure your PC is on and connected to the network and a power source. And for installation, we'll let you know when it's time to restart your PC to complete the repair. And you have here a checkbox automatically restart my PC 15 minutes after installation. Okay, cancel. I think this is a pretty interesting thing because a lot of the times when you, your computer gets damaged or corrupted or you have major issues with it, you just reinstall the system. Well, now Microsoft will allow you to reinstall the system and repair it without using the reset PC function. That reset PC function didn't always work as intended. And with this new option, a lot of issues and a lot of users should be helped. Basically, these are all the new features that Microsoft is currently working on behind the scenes. As I've said, thank you to Albacore and also Panther on Twitter. We're going to have their Twitter links in the pinned comment below. So follow them if you want to learn more about new features. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.